is taking too much time and there's not enough money. We never agreed you'd stay away so long. I expected more from you. I'm very disappointed. Miss this old place. Uh, oh. <laughs> I never thought I could mix my lower back the way I do. Oh, <laughs> are you okay? Uh, Here, let me help you with this. Thanks. Ah. <laughs> thanks. You know, it's as good as you. <laughs> yes. Mm. <laughs> oh. Aren't you glad Johnny decided to stay an extra day and she didn't tag along the road oh. over the homecoming? Nothing could ever spoil things between us. Mm. Oh. Oh. Mr. Spot, right there. As long as I never catch you kissing another woman, you just happen to meet in the woods. Ow. Ah, Kelly, I gave you my bow. I am through with women. Or uh, other women in the woods. In other women anywhere. Okay, talk is cheap. You said that you would prove it. And I will. I will prove it just as soon as... Uh, I mean, the time isn't right exactly right now, but... Well, I don't believe it. The face of Malador has returned. <clears throat> well, it's nice to see you, too. But hello. Yeah. You're looking good. This is who died? That shows your ignorance of these things, my man. I'm dressed for New Year's celebration. New Year's? Ah, uh, you're about four months early, Mr. Ducanis. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Jewish New Year. They call it Rosh Hashanah. Ah. And Rachel says uh. we have a lot to celebrate this year. Oh, she does, huh? <laughs> Why don't you help Kelly unpack or do something <laughs> useful, okay? I'm out of here. Okay. Bye. Clean up this mess, huh? <laughs> mm. uh. Hello? Is Drew Buchanan there? Uh, no, you just missed him. He's on his way uh, to his father's for dinner. Can I take a message? Uh, uh, no, that's okay. Hey, hey, we got Rachel Gannon in the house. I got flowers. I got wine. I... Oh, Mom. This is beautiful. Ma! Rachel, can we shove Rosh Hashanah dinner back a week or so? I was so worried about the bread not rising that I neglected everything else. Well, we have a few burnt carrots and overdone Brussels sprouts. But I said everything. I meant everything. Oh, Mom. What is that? It used to be a pot roast. I guess now all I can do is give it a decent burial and notify the next of kin. Oh. You're a terrific lawyer. A great mother. 
beautiful wife. So, so what if you're cooking me the little he desired? Oh, I would rather face 15 Judge Fitzwaters in a hostile jury than stand in front of that stove again. Well, who says you have to? I do. Bo laughed at me when I said that I was perfectly capable of making a Rosh Hashanah traditional dinner with all the trimmings. He laughed at me. I'm not going to get the last laugh. Well, there is a way that you can still have your dinner as promised. How? You do what any of us self-respecting Jewish American princesses do. You order. <laughs> We've covered every sector with photographs of these. If anyone's seen the kid... Did, did the FBI fax that list of possibles yet? Yes, but uh, none of them are in IA. Well, then go back and talk to that nurse again. I don't care how clean she was the first time. I want that kid found, okay? Yeah, well, Commissioner, this search is just going to have to uh, go on without you. Rachel and North, they're expecting us, ASAP. I know all about the big holiday dinner, Hank. Believe me, I would like to be there to toast Rachel and all the good things that just haven't happened to us yet this year, just as much as you. Great, so get your coat, straighten your tie, and let's hit the road. Jim. I can't. Blair Manny's baby's still missing. We don't have one lead. Uh, Crosby, you've got the commissioner's home phone, right? You've got his beeper number, his car number. Sure, Mr. Gann, cool. All right, there you go. The department can actually function in your absence. So. What do you say? Let's get out of here. All I can think about right now is what Blair Manning must be going through. Look, I feel for the lady, all right? But your family needs you to, so right, just for tonight, you are to your family, you are to yourself, to get out of here and join in the good times. Come on. Does anybody know this guy, huh? I mean, who is this? A new mellow fellow named Henry? What happened to old Hank, the can and Jan, and didn't give up until he crossed the goal line? Yeah. Yeah, well, let's just say I fumbled big time, all right? Look, I lost the woman I love because I didn't make the time to fit her into my busy schedule. Bo, you're not going to be lying on your deathbed, kicking yourself, saying, oh, man, damn, I should have spent more time at the office. Come on. All right. All right, boss. Good. I'm not going to be able to get that missing kid out of my head. Well, think about Nora's cooking. Now, there's a crime. <laughs> He's working already. Yeah, I know. I know you got me. But I swear, if I find out that Carlo Hesser is behind this kidnapping, I am going to hang him by his bald little thumbs. You really think it's Carlo? Well, come on. Who else do we know that would uh, take away a baby from its mother? Come on. Not this time, Marty. Marty, don't do this. What about your saint, Lenore? Marty, get up. Marty, look, you gotta get up, you gotta get out of here. Maybe that's not such a good idea. Look, Marty, come on. Online. Marty, stop! Wait, wait, stop. Look, I'm not gonna hurt you. Stop, right? That's right. The ghost of spring fling the past. How? Beats the hell out of me. I guess when really bad people die, they go to land view. Like, I never bought any of that stuff, but I figured if I was gonna come back, it would be like a cockroach or a gopher or something, but God has a sense of humor, so I'm back just me. Look, I'm as anxious to get out of here as you are, but do me a favor, okay? Pretend this was all a bad dream. So go on, get out of here. There's a path down there. I'll take you to the road. Somebody will pick you up. 
What are you waiting for, Marty? Lightning to strike? Do that again. Do what? Your leg, you moved it, I saw you. Andy. Don't deny it, come on, it's great. Take it easy. Oh, Dad, take it easy, Dylan, come on. Do you know what this means? Why aren't you just shouting it to the rooftop? The shouting's not my style. Yeah, I noticed, but aren't you happy? Don't you know what this means? Yeah, I've known for a couple of days now. I mean, I'm starting to get some feeling back in my lip, legs bit by bit, and, uh, well, I, th I thought that if I concentrate hard enough, I might be able to move them. So I've been working pretty hard. Yeah, no, this, I mean, this is more than a miracle. You made this happen. How did, how did Marty react? Mm -hmm. you, oh, you, you haven't told us. No, 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 I would appreciate it if, uh, if you didn't say anything to her either. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't stop. Just think about tropical beaches. The warm sand, the cool breeze. Aren't trees. you curious? Well, that's one word for it. I care to think of more like I mean, boiling. about Drew's mystery woman. Oh, who? The woman. The woman who called just now. She had this southern soft voice. Well, she's probably just trying to sell them time. She's in Myrtle Beach. Now, where were we? Excuse me. Since mm. when did you not like a good mystery? Uh, that would be ever since I got you home, all alone. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay, well then I guess you've completely forgotten about your mystery woman. Right? <sighs> the one that you couldn't stand being away from? Kelly. <laughs> Probably. You have forgotten her name, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Olivia? Kelly, I thought we weren't going to talk about that anymore. Oh, yeah, we, we agreed. We agreed to that as long as you keep your vow. Vow? Yes. Joey, do not think for one minute I am going to let you out of here. When you left Aruba, you vowed, you promised that Olivia, okay, was just a, a blip on the radar screen of life, okay? An aberration, you called her. And that's all she was. Okay, well then I need you to prove that. You gave me your word you would give me proof that I am the one and only love of your life. Is that what I said? Joey. I'm just kidding. Of course, of course I remember that, and, and, and I'm going to do exactly that. When? Tonight. Really? Hmm? When? Where? Uh, relax. Whatever happened to having a little trust, a little faith? What happened to put up or shut up? Well, why don't you just not worry about it, because all you have to do is give me your hand and come with me. As simple as that. Mm -hmm. I just take your hand and I, you know, have this wonderful evening. You're going to prove to the world that you love me. Yep. Something big, something romantic, something stupendous. All of the above. Believe me, Kelly, it will be astronomical. Happy New Year! <laughs> oh, the way you look in that suit. You can see anything you want. Hey. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Well, how can I not be? Oh, here's the wine. It's kosher. That should be interesting. Then the whole evening should be interesting. Bo Buchanan's house, my first Rosh Hashanah. Well, <laughs> it won't be your last. This is for Nora. Oh. And you. Thank you, sir. You're so beautiful. Mm. Just competition to see. With the other flowers. 
Everything looks great, doesn't it, RJ? Oh, yeah, Nora's outdone herself. Speaking of which, is she in the kitchen? Yeah. Ah, something smells fantastic, and I'll be the official taste tester. <laughs> Interesting. Mr. Ron Totten Cole definitely seems to be on the high end of the spectrum. You think so? Hmm. Do you approve? Whatever makes you happy. <laughs> Great smell. Yeah, just talking to the food. Food? Yeah. Food? That's all you guys can think about is food? This is a traditional celebration. You're right, sweetheart. So when, when do, do we, we eat? eat? Come on. <laughs> well, I agree with you gentlemen there. Oh, who'd have thought it, Hank, huh? The Gannons having a holiday dinner together? Yeah, it's been a long time, RJ. <laughs> Too long. Now, will you promise me, both of you, that it'll be a wonderful evening and you'll be on your best behavior? Me? Aren't I always? <clears throat> RJ. Uh, maybe after dessert we could have a little talk. About what? A pennant race? Politics? Your friend Carlo Hesser? Uh, Blair Manning's missing child? Well, happy new year to you too, Commissioner. Dinner is served. Can you believe this banquet? Oh, honey, you you did this? Well, nothing is too good for my family. <sighs> oh, tell him to the sin of lying at your uncle's dinner. <laughs> okay, look, it looks great, so let's dig in. Now wait first, there's a blessing. Which I will say in English for our honorary Jews. <sighs> Blessed art thou, O Lord, our God, ruler of the universe, who has commanded us to light the candles for the holiday. Rachel, honey, will you do the kiddush for the wine? Sure. Blessed art thou, Lord our God, ruler of the universe, who created the fruit of the vine. This is when we all say amen. 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 Marty's your wife. She's entitled to know. Yes, she is, but not until I'm absolutely positively sure. Listen, I've got an appointment with Dr. Robbins later today, and I want to get a professional opinion. I want to make sure that this isn't just some muscle spasm. I'm not going to get all our hopes worked up for nothing. Are you sure that it's Marty you're protecting? Let me tell you something, Andy. I would love nothing more than to be able to get up out of this wheelchair and walk into a room where my wife is and surprise her. Be a whole man for once. Now, you can call me a dreamer, you whatever you want. But I'm going to do it. I am going to walk again. Dylan, nobody's doubting your courage. But, I mean, if you really, if you really can walk again, you really... You think it's going to make a difference? Or do you think that battle's already lost? Marty, what difference does it make how I got here? I'm leaving. Look, I'm not even here now. I'm a hallucination. See, when I was drinking, I couldn't tell what was real from what wasn't. But I'm sober oh, now. Oh, for God's sake, who cares if you're There were witnesses! Patrick was in Ireland when you took the bullet that was meant for him. They put you in a car and pushed you over a cliff into the Irish Sea. How did you survive? I should have drowned, I should have bled to death. But I didn't. Because, uh, fishermen found me, took care of me. Why didn't you send word back to the States? I didn't even know who I was. 
took me months to get back my memory, my strength. And when it all came back to me, I wanted to come here in my own time, in my own way. Look, Marty, I, I got a lot of loose ends to do. I don't have time. Mr. White, what about Blair? Does she even know you're alive? Have you seen her? I just got here today. Today? Why didn't you come to visit your cabin? Who was that? This is it? This, this is where you're planning to have me experience the most romantic moment of my life? Yeah, it's, it's a long shot. Isn't I... it? All these clouds. Okay, hello. Joey, we are in the middle of nowhere. Okay, how are you planning to prove that you love me to the world when no one can see us and no one can oh, hear us? Well, it's just like this. It's clearing. See? Okay, hang on. Check it out. What? Why do we have a telescope? Just, just, just look right up here. You see the Big Dipper? Yes. All right. Okay. Yes. Right. Right above there. There it is. Proof of how much I love you. Andy, my mother didn't raise no fool. I mean, I know that Marty's been distant lately, and it doesn't take a genius to figure out just exactly what's been on her mind, or who's been on her mind. You really okay with that? Hell no, I'm not. But the fact of the matter is, is that Patrick exists, and I can't do anything about that. But I'll tell you something what I can do about it. I can get stronger. I can get my legs back. And I can be that man. I can be the husband that Marty needs. So what it really comes down to is what Marty wants, doesn't it? Yeah, well, I'm willing to take those chances when I'm on my feet again. You know, I, I understand. But why do you have to wait till you get back on your feet? I didn't want you to go tell Marty. She might be so excited that she actually... Andy, I said no. Not until I'm absolutely positively sure. All right? Now promise me something. Promise me you're not going to say anything to her. All right? Please. Uh, you know, uh, uh, okay, before we make any promises, let's just, let's go to the doctor and see what she has to say, and then we'll talk. Okay? Up there, as far as I can tell, it must have been a squirrel or a, or a rat or something. You don't have to hide up here at your sister's cabin. You have a family in Landview, a wife and a baby. Do you, do you even know about her? No, I know all about the kid. Vicky told me. Vicky? I thought you came straight here. I did come straight here from the airport where I saw Vicky. She was on her way out of town and, um, I saw her. She was in the first class lounge. She was buying a drink for one of her personalities. And, uh, boy, when she saw me, she wanted to call the Ghostbusters. I don't blame her. Yeah, but then she finally calmed down, and she told me that I could come up here and use the cabin until I was ready to show my face. What's stopping you? Haven't you ever wanted time to, you know, sort things out? Get everything straight in your head. Yeah, how do you think I ended up on Lantana Mountain tonight? Oh, I don't know. You tell me. No, I know you don't. Don't what? We were talking about you. You've been given a second chance here. I don't understand why you don't want to run home and make the most of every moment. You sound like a greeting card. You think it's that easy? Marty, coming back from the dead, it's kind of messy. You want me to just walk back through the door and say, honey, I'm home, make me dinner. I've been pretty close to death myself, or I've wanted to be. Yeah. Something I want to tell you.
When I heard the news that you'd been shot and Steph Patrick, I, I, uh, I, I, was, I was upset, knowing that you had come to Ireland as a favor for me. And uh, well, you're not the only one with a guilty conscience. Come on, Marty. You found out I was dead. You must have wanted to drink a champagne. At another point in my life, I would have. All oh, right, lupus. Okay, so apple cider, whatever. Just stop it. I'm telling you, I was upset when I heard the news. And Patrick was too. He came back to Landview and he vowed that he'd find the men that were responsible and make them pay for it. He was upset. I bet he was. Why, you, you blame him? Dornhardt? No. He didn't pull the trigger. No well, good, because he decided to make Landview his home. It's all good. So, you married the big, dumb, hick in a wheelchair. Does that make you Mrs. Marty Moody? I'm, I'm not going to fight with you. Because I haven't forgotten that you were the one who gave me the courage to go to Ireland in the first place. To cut off my aunt. To stand on my own two feet. That trip changed my life. That makes two of us. I never had the chance to thank you for that. Well, if that's the way you feel about it, then maybe it's your turn to do me a favor. You didn't just get back from Ireland. People think you're dead. You've got family. They're waiting for you. I don't understand why you'd want to disappear again. It's my life. I can do what I want. Look, I don't want you to tell anybody that you saw me. I if you think that that's too much for you to handle. I without seeing people that care about you, that you care about. If I stay dead, it's going to make a lot of people in this town very happy. Oh, people like your wife? I happened to see how Blair took the news of your death. It, it, she was, her grief was nearly uncontrollable. I think she found a way to get over it. Well, if that were true, which it isn't, what about your baby daughter, huh? Or, or is she better off without you, too? Yes. She is. You've forgotten. I'm Todd Manning. And you, of all people, should know what kind of a man I am. Well, I thought you changed. I thought you weren't that same man. Don't be so sure. Look, you think I've changed. What about Blair? Don't you think she's managed to find a way to move on? I can't speak for Blair. But I'm sure she'd want to know. She's not going to know unless you tell her. All right. You know there's no love lost between Blair and me. But I can't help but put myself in her place. And if someone knew that the man that I had loved and lost was still alive... Fine. Look, you do what you have to do. Fine, tell her. I will be long gone before she oh, even... Oh, come knows. on now. That's not going to stop her. You know her better than that. Once she finds out you're still alive, she won't stop until she finds you. Come on. Go home. See your wife. And your baby daughter. You have a beautiful baby girl. Don't you even want to see her? It's, uh, and in, for the holidays, they, they cook it in a round to symbolize the circle of life. Hmm. That's incredible, honey. No, how come I didn't know you could cook like this? No, no, oh. no the lady's not a cook. She's an artist. Hmm. Gentlemen, gentlemen, if you'll turn my head. <laughs> Rachel, why don't you pass the um, apples and honey? And what do they symbolize, Rabbi? Well, I'm glad you asked that, young man. Tonight, we dip the apples in the honey in hopes of finding the sweetness and joy in the new year. Sweetness and joy? Mm -hmm. I thought the high holidays were all about atoning for sins. Rachel, the atoning for sin is Yom Kippur. This is about celebrating life. Happy New Year, everyone. 
לחיים. Over that way. Right about right, I, right there. I don't know. What is it called again? Kelly. No, I mean, what's, what's the name of the star? Yeah, I just told you. It's named after you. See, it's official. You are looking at Kelly X27. You, you got a, a star named after me? Yeah. Yeah, why not? I mean... To prove how much I loved you, and you are my sun, my moon, and my star. That's the most romantic thing I ever heard of. Uh, my star? Yeah. Hold on, let me get Okay, so 
it's not my lucky star. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. Uh, so are you satisfied now? Oh, yes, I am completely satisfied. Almost. Now all I have to do is find that Olivia you were kissing and stomp her with my high heels. Kelly, can we just forget about Olivia? She has nothing to do with us anymore. I know. I know. Okay. All right. I have just forgotten her name. And I am lost in the dark. It's good news. I can just feel it. Why don't we wait and see what the doctor has to say? Oh, you heard what she said when she examined you. I mean, the bone chip moved from your spinal cord. That means the paralysis is probably going to... She said it might have moved. Why don't we wait and make sure? Hi. So, um, what's your conclusion, doctor? Well, Mr. Moody, I've consulted with my associate, and we concur on the results. Well, I'm glad you came to the same decision. My question is, am I going to walk again? You know, you're right, Marty. The baby does need two parents. Even if they are two losers like me and Blair. Just let me be the one to tell her, all right? Yeah, of course. You don't take too long. No. A couple days here to pull myself together, and then I'll go right home. I promise. Don't you trust me, Marty? You don't have to answer that. Well, thanks for coming by. Looks like the storm passed over. It didn't even rain. You can get down to the bottom of the mountain now, or you can walk around the woods and think about whatever it is that you think about. was outstanding. I've done pot roast. It's flunkin'. <laughs> What's flunkin'? What's flunkin'? Yes. Flunkin'. It's, um, it's, it's, uh, pot roast. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'll get it. Uh, whoa, whoa, what is this? That's when you open the door and, and the prophet Elijah comes walking in to join the party? No, Daddy. <laughs> Let's pass Oh, no. Well, we got plenty of pot roast, so go ahead. Invite okay, him in, Mr. Drew. Prophet, whoever you are, come in. Someone better... Somebody ring the... Oh, what's the matter, honey? Don't you want to give your mama a hug? 